In this tutorial, we'll create and compare scenarios with different space use type definitions using data specific to the city of Hardyville. To begin, we'll create two scenarios that envision developments with medium density and high density housing. Click the plans icon, select the Millstone Track conceptual master plan, select the option button and click configure. In the plan setting dialog box, click the scenarios tab. At the bottom of the dialog box, click add scenario. Give your scenario a name. I'll call this phase one, medium density. For based on, click the drop down arrow and choose phase one. Click okay and repeat the process to create another scenario. Call this scenario Phase 1 High Density. For based on, click the drop down arrow and select Phase 1. Click OK. And in the Plan Settings dialog box, click OK again. The new scenarios are added to the Scenario Switcher on the Plan Detail card in the side panel of the overview. The new scenarios will also be visible and editable in the designer. Next, we'll create new building types to apply to the scenarios we created. Select the Options button and click Edit. Click the Menu button and uncheck Zoning Envelopes. Click the Menu button again to close the table of contents. Zoom into the area so you can clearly see the parcels. In the Development side panel, select Space Use and click Manage Space Use Types. For Space Use Types, we have brought in space uses from the table of allowed uses in the Hardyville Code of Ordinances. To add a Space Use Type to this list, click the Add button. In the new Space Use Type panel, add a label and a description. For label, type in res underscore md. And for description, type in residential medium density. For the color, you can add a hex value. For the area per person parameter, type in 645. Click OK. The new space use type is added to the space use types table. Repeat this process to add a high density space use type. For the area per person parameter, type 430. This means that there will be 430 square feet per person. For Hardyville, we're using US standard units, but you can also set the units to metric in the user profile. Click OK. Both space use types represent future scenarios. Now we'll create new building types and apply these space use types to use in scenario planning. We'll start with our medium density scenario. In the scenario selector, choose phase one medium density. To create a new building type, we first have to select the parcels that we want to work with. On the workflow toolbar, Choose the selection tool and a selection method of your choice to select the parcels. Click Done when finished. In the upper right hand corner, click the X to clear the space use types filter and return to the development side panel. Click Develop and then click Modify. The building types list appear in the side panel. You can create your own building types or adjust parameters of existing building types. For this tutorial, we'll add two new building types. Click the Add button. The new building type panel opens. Give your new building type a name. I'll call it Single Family Residential Medium Density. Under Building Parts Configuration, 
click the Add button. For a space use type, select the first space use type you created. For me, this is residential medium density. Notice the color updates automatically. Set the maximum number of floors to two and under massing, choose tower. Click OK to save this building type. Repeat this process to create a residential high density building type. For name, type in single family residential high density. Click the add button under building parts configuration and choose the second space use type you created. Change the maximum number of floors to two and the massing to tower and click OK. Your new building types are ready. Next, we'll apply these building types to the medium and high density scenarios. Make sure the active scenario is the medium density scenario we created earlier and that the parcels are selected. In the building type side panel, click filter. Check on proposed in this plan and click apply filters. Select the residential medium density building type you created to apply it to the selected parcels. In the scenario selector, set the active scenario to phase one high density. Use the selection tool to select the parcels. Click done to return to the development side panel. Click modify and select the high density building type you created to apply it to the parcels. Next, we'll look at the dashboards to compare the capacity indicators created by each of the scenarios. At the top of the panel, select capacity. The dashboard allows you to compare capacity indicators such as population, household and jobs. The indicators are calculated based on the space use types assigned to each parcel building. In our scenarios, we're focusing on residential developments. The space use types associated with the buildings we created either increase or decrease the population based on the density we assign for the space use. If we also set the area per household, the dashboard would show this. Use the scenario selector to switch between the high density and medium density scenarios to see the change in population. In this tutorial, we learnt how to create new space use types and apply them to building types to model medium density and high density residential developments.